Hello everyone! In this video I'll interview students from the tourism program about their online and offline learning experiences. They are both in their third year and are about to graduate. So now Harman will tell about his online studies and Rosa about offline. Enjoy the video! Rosa, hi! You've been in Kayani the whole last semester and how was it for you? Like the hybrid studying at Kank? Did you experience any discomfort or did it go well for you? Uh, I really liked it. It was very good in Guyana that uh, we could um, come to school. I really liked this decision than that we were completely on distant learning. But you still had a choice to attend some of the lectures uh, or like studying online, of course. Um, have you attended many of them? I actually did. I, I prefer studying at the school because I like the study environment what we have in Gang. Were there many people attending the lectures with you? I would say it was like perfect amount what who could come to the school, mm -hmm. but it was also nice that they who were on like on distance learning, they could also attend the class as well. So I think it went very well. OK, nice. And how were the lectures done and what security measures were used? We were distanced from each other, like we were not sitting right next to each other. Yeah. Uh, people were using masks and I really like that our school provided us uh, a face mask. Oh, so um, if you can afford it, at least school helped us to uh, keep our environment safe. How has COVID influenced your projects? What did you do instead of them? Of course, COVID brought challenges to our projects. Uh, some got cancelled, but many of didn't. We had chances to uh, participate, for example, Lost in Gainu, which was held in here, Kajani. And a couple of my um, projects had to be on online, but it worked very well because also mm -hmm. the, our uh, partner had to also compromise. So it worked very well. But then we also had some project that we could actually go and visit the place. So yeah. it was good balance to like practical work, but also uh, online work. Rosa, how was it for you to do the projects with other people who are studying online far from Finland? Um. <laughs> um, we managed to make it work through many uh, platforms. We use a lot of Teams, we use a lot of WhatsApp. So obviously it's a little bit harder when you cannot see face to face, but uh, when everyone is motivated to work together, we made it work. Yeah, nice. Uh, so also you told me that right now you have mostly online lectures uh, this semester and how it is going for you. Is it hard? Um, now that I'm on the last part of my studies, it's kind of making it easier because I don't necessarily have to be at school because I'm writing my thesis and it makes it easier to work with my commissioning party. Mm -hmm. So it actually makes it easier for my studies, but um, it's working very well right now so great yes great. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience i appreciate it a lot so yeah. here's Armin with us <laughs> um he'll share with us his feelings about online studying so where have you been all last semester yeah last semester i was uh, back at my home country in india yeah um, we, um the thing, it was online, so I decided to go back home. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, I was also like um, congruently doing my practical training okay. because uh, 
like so I was supposed to do it in the summer last year, but then it got canceled because mm -hmm. of the COVID. Like I decided to go back home, so I'm like I can also study online and I'll, I can also do the practical training. But where did yeah. you do your practical training? It was in my um, home city, Chandigarh, oh. it was like a four star hotel. Oh. I worked in front office and um, in the bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah. Was it difficult for you to attend the lectures with a such time difference? Actually, yeah, at times it was because uh, when I was at home, it would like be. Um, I think the time difference is three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. It's um, the problem with was with the evening lecture. Mm -hmm. I had problems with it sometimes because I had to work too, because um, I had to complete those hours in two months, the 320 hours. So I was on a tight schedule, but mm -hmm. it worked out pretty well. Yeah. Okay, so while working, you were also attending the lectures, probably. Yeah. Okay. That's Feel sorry for Yeah, that's why I had installed Microsoft Teams on my phone, so I uh, can. Yeah. Okay. It. Yeah. What was it like to do the group projects far from Finland? Was it hard for you or easy? Um, I would say it's easy if it's um if it's decided beforehand. Mm -hmm. Like for example, there was a group work um last semester in a class in strategic planning mm -hmm. and we added beforehand where we're gonna um, when we're gonna meet on teams and we decided everything on whatsapp so that makes things easier but if there's no communication and there's nobody mm -hmm. letting you know what to do then it can be a mess especially the online um, group studies because you you won't see them physically so you cannot like mm -hmm. go to them and say that we need to meet up. You can only text them or try to remind them. Yeah. And um, were the teachers supporting and helpful to you? Um, to some extent, yes, they were. Mm -hmm. Like if I, uh, any issues, I would contact them by email, or I would arrange a meeting on uh, Skype. Skype. Uh, the, we also have a school Skype account. It was pretty easy. Yeah, they did help. Yeah. And what did you like still more, um, online studying or offline? Uh, I would say offline is the still the best best way to learn mm -hmm. because you're in a class and you have to be attentive. And um, when you go to a class, you have the mindset that you're going to a class, you're going to learn something, even if you're not feeling if you're like feeling lazy at times, you have to go. But yeah. when it's off, you just open the laptop or your phone and sometimes it's not that engaging. Mm -hmm. And uh, also like, um, like right now, there's one class we are taking. Uh, mm -hmm. It involves uh, the Excel use and it's um, not only for me, I believe for most of the students it's problematic because mm -hmm. through Teams, it's hard to open so many things on your laptop simultaneously and you know, do those exercises together in Excel. So yeah, that yeah. makes all studies pretty hard. Thank you for yeah. participating. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>